Thank you very much. It's, it's such an emotional night now. Um, worked really hard on this for 16 months now. First of July, last year I've started this. Um, I've been passionate about serving, helping out the communities, you know. So our niche is refugees, migrants, and indigenous people. Um, I have seen several people who, who come from overseas, a lot of refugees, a lot of migrants, who come qualified, you know, who would have master's degrees, PhDs, some real doctors as well. And they would be driving taxis and delivering pizzas. It breaks my heart. It was breaking my heart for many years. I came to Australia around 18 years ago as an international student. I've been there, done that. I've cleaned toilets. <laughs> I've folded hides. I've packed meats. Um, because I wasn't qualified to be able to get some good jobs. Um, I first came to Rockhampton, and that's where I did some of the small jobs. Um, and I saw so, so many people. So I came to Sydney around 16 years ago, and, and I have been seeing so many people, international students to people who have been established over here, who have been, you know, driving cabs for 20, 30 years, and then they feel comfortable, they marry, and, you know, they have kids. They have no other option to sit and keep on applying for jobs. They get into driving taxi, delivering pizzas, etc. This is called job mismatch. So people have the qualification, but they don't get selected. So there is a bit of a gap out there. Um, I had no choice. I wanted to do this. I was connected with um, some high-profile people. Sunil is at the back, you know, got Sunil today, and, and various other high-profile mentors, and I'm very proud, and I'm so happy. I couldn't be more proud. Um, great to have all the VIPs out here. Um, and yeah, we started Opportunities Australia on 1st of July last year. Um, started with a bunch of people, and, you know, immediately within one year, we have over 70 volunteers now, Australia-wide. So we, we had the chance to advertise on SEEK, and we got you know, plenty of people. Um, everyone is university qualified, plenty of successful people. Everyone is successful in their own trade, so very proud to have them all. Um, so yeah, as I mentioned, that our niche is refugee, migrants, and indigenous, and our deal with ACNC, which is the charity body in Australia, uh, they have asked us to serve the long-term unemployed people in Australia. So this is what we are doing here. And um, yeah, we have been helping. So, so far we have run mentoring session. Thanks to COVID, you know, it was very difficult to run face-to-face -face sessions. Uh, this is our first event, actually. So, you know, um, could they, you know, things have been over now. So, we have been helping a, um, a lot of people online. So, uh, we have helped out uh, people from universities and, you know, different other places. So, we have partnered up with different charities and they have come up with their refugee and migrant clients, etc. So, yeah, um, our vision and mission I would like to take you through. So, yeah, um, Opportunities Australia, a vibrant network creating opportunities and connections to empower, train, and mentor people from all backgrounds into valued and sustainable employment. You know, this is how we say that officially. So, you know, we like to just connect. You know, we are the connecting point. So we have partnered up with organizations. Um, whether or not I call it partner up, you know, we have formed connections with organizations like Microsoft, Salesforce, OMD Media, um, Deloitte, etc. Yesterday we ran a program with Deloitte, job ready program. So we have formed those connections and we are trying to help people out. Um, our mission is to provide access to quality training, upskilling, and mentoring for long term job seekers or long term unemployed people and connecting them to targeted network offering employment opportunities to fulfill their career aspiration. So, yeah, I can't emphasize enough, everyone comes with a dream to Australia to actually have a career. They don't want to continue on, you know, delivering pizzas or driving taxis. So, we are so passionate about helping those people. And, um, yeah, by help of all these volunteers, um, we have only done 16 months now, and in that we have got 70 volunteers. And we have found employment for 40 people, and we have mentored over 200 people so far. So, very happy with that, and I'm, you know, I'm hoping we are just scratching the surface now, and uh, I'm hoping we are going to, you know, do more, much more. Um, in my journey, before starting Opportunities Australia, I'm trying to connect some dots. So, I was charitable-minded. Um, I would like to take a step back. So, it all started with my grandfather, who was into education. So, he was a farmer in India, in a post right towards the eastern side, and. My grandparents were very, fert were very fertile. They had nine kids all together. Um, they believed in education. So, you know, all of the kids, um, to my surprise, you know, someone became doctor, engineer, chartered accountants, coming from a village. So, a proud moment. Everyone got together. After the death of my grandparents, we started a family charity. 
Uh, we started a school and a hospital to serve the people who could not afford the services. So this is what I saw as a kid. So every summer vacation, we'll go there, or you know, every now and then, we'll go to their villages. Um, and this is what I saw. So when I first arrived in Australia, I was invited to be a student mentor. So that's what I did. Um, I came to UNSW. I'm still a mentor. And um, I was invited to be a guest lecturer now. So that was a bit of a promotion there. Thank you very much to UNSW now. Um, in my journey living in Sydney, um, I was charitable minded. So, you know, I looked around and I, um, I joined Winnie's CEO Sleepout seven years ago. I met Bernard, Bernie Fenn. Uh, it was great meeting you and it was great serving Winnie's. It has been great serving Winnie's and, you know, I'll continue the legacy. Um, it's, it feels amazing to be able to, you know, gather the money to help our people, you know, who are really suffering, you know, homeless people. They have no roof over their head. They have no food in the tummy. Uh, so Matthew Talbot Hostel, and then there are other places as well. You know, they help out the community. So besides that, I also helped out some other charities, whoever I could, Wayside Chapel, Oz Harvest, Marine Rescue. I love Marine Rescue, um, driving the boat on a weekend. So yeah, these are some of the community things that I get to do. But then later on, I thought, OK, well, I'm educated. I'm connected with lots of uh, like-minded people. I would like to gather all the people together, and we'll have to start this charity. So yeah, this is what we're doing, trying to find employment for people, trying to do mentoring for people. And then, you know, this is the, this is the latest project that we started eight weeks ago. It has been very successful, helping out the aspiring entrepreneurs. And, and you know, they are amazing. And, uh, you know, we hope that, uh, you know, we have been able to help them out um, some, you know, some ways or the other. And they go ahead and contribute to Australian economy. And they be really successful, help out their families, et cetera. And, and I hope that the communities, you know, um, get to help uh, these aspiring entrepreneurs and these multicultural entrepreneurs. You know, tonight is the multicultural night, so I really hope that Australia gets to really focus on multiculturalism, you know, and, and we help one another. That's what Australia is all about, and those were the songs all about. So thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thanks, thanks for coming. <laughs>